Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station in Tel Elimir TV. On the occasion of the start of the 23rd Christian pilgrimage to the baptism site, Dr. Basim Asim'an and the Regional Director of Nursat Satellite in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine and the team present their highest congratulations and the most beautiful blessing, praying to God Almighty that this occasion will be good and bear blessing for everyone. Now let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis calls on the Pontifical Institute to strengthen communion with the Church. His Majesty the King in Fahis, strict measures against anyone spreading hatred. Catholic churches in Jordan and Palestine mark the 23rd annual pilgrimage to the baptism site. We also have the Supreme Committee for Church Affairs condemns racist slurs on the walls of the Armenian Patriarchate in Jerusalem. Welcome back. During his Vatican reception of the Pontifical Institute of North America, Pope Francis welcomed the delegation and said that your stay here in Rome coincides with the synodal journey that the whole Church is currently undertaking, a journey that requires listening to the Holy Spirit and to one another, to discern how we can help members of the Holy People of God to live the gift of communion to become missionary disciples. His Holiness also encouraged them to cultivate a lasting dialogue with the Lord and to strengthen communion with the Church so they may become witnesses to transmit the gospel of God's love to those in need. His Holiness shared some thoughts on three elements that he considered essential to priestly upbringing, dialogue, communion, and mission. His Majesty King Abdullah II stressed that racist ideas are alien to us and did not originate in our country, and that the responsibility lies within our schools in raising a generation that believes in the values of citizenship and coexistence. His Majesty expressed pride in the people of Farhais and the Jordanian model of tolerance, love, and coexistence. The Catholic Churches in Jordan commemorate the 23rd annual Christian pilgrimage to the site of the Baptism of Christ in the Baptism area, with a festive Mass presided over by His Beatitude, Patriarch Pier Battista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, the presence of the heads of Catholic Churches in the Kingdom, a number of bishops, honorable fathers, and a large crowd of believers. More details in the following report. On the occasion of the 23rd anniversary of the start of the Christian pilgrimage to the site of the baptism of Christ in al Maqtas, the Catholic churches in the kingdom commemorate this day with a festive mass presided over by his beatitude, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Pier Battista Pizzabella, with the participation of the heads and representatives of the Catholic Church in the kingdom, and the presence of Dr. Imad Hjazin, Secretary General of the Ministry of Tourists and Antiquities. The Mass was attended by many bishops participating in the delegation of the coordination of bishops in support of the Holy Land, coming from the European and North American countries, in addition to a number of deputies, personalities, ambassadors, and representatives of the diplomatic corps accredited to the Kingdom, as well as priests, monks, and nuns, religious and official figures, and a mass of believers, numbering more than 5,000 pilgrims. During the religious ceremony, His Bichitut the Patriarch blessed the audience with the holy water of Jordan River and delivered the homily of the Mass in which he spoke about the spiritual and human meaning of baptism. Spirit unites, the flesh divides. If you want to live according to the Spirit in us, this, the, the sign, the element to understand if we are building unity. We are all sinners here. I am the first one. We came here today to ask the Jesus who came here together with the sinners to In ask from him the pardon and forgiveness for our sins. To ask pardon and forgiveness for every time we, are not able, we have not been instrumental for building unity. We will renew our promises. To renew the promises is, 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 is to say, let it do. Renew our promises and when we receive the water, we will tell Jesus, Jesus, we are here and commit ourselves again, once again, and we, uh, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to live according to the Spirit and not according to the flesh. May the Lord bless all of us and make all of us the instrument of His peace, His mercy and unity here in our families, in our church, 
in all Jordan, in all the Church of Jerusalem. Amen. During the ceremony, prayers and supplications were raised for the permanence of security and stability in Jordan under the wise Hashemite leadership and for the strengthening of national unity and prayer for peace and justice to prevail in Jerusalem, Palestine and the rest of the region and the world. The Mass concluded with a speech delivered by the Secretary of the Latin Patriarchal Vicariate, Father Imad Alamat, in which he thanked, on behalf of the Latin Patriarchate and the Catholic Churches, the governmental, security and ecclesiastical agencies that worked in full cooperation to make the Catholic Pilgrimage Day successful. Ahead of the religious ceremony, Patriarch Pizzabella said during a press conference, we attach great importance to this holy place and emphasize our encouragement for the recently announced project to develop the baptism site. The Patriarch pointed out that the project to develop the baptism site will encourage pilgrims and believers from all over the world to come to this place where all the services needed by pilgrims will be provided. During the conference, he also recalled the late Pope Benedict XVI, who stood with His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen to lay the foundation stone for the Catholic Baptism Church, calling on friends from everywhere to help us as much as possible in order to complete this church, which will be a wonderful masterpiece bearing the name of the Baptism of Christ on the east bank of the Jordan River. The head of the Delegation of the Coordination of Bishops for the Holy Land, Bishop Nicholas Hudson, who came from Britain, gave a speech in which he reviewed the objectives of the delegation and the reasons for its annual attendance in the Holy Land, expressing his great happiness to be in this holy place for the first time. After the conference, Patriarch Pizzabella, Bishop Jamal Ibis, and Monsignor Mauro Lalli descended to the Jordan River and scooped holy water to bless the faithful, and the procession, led by scouts, teams, and candle bearers, headed to the Baptistery Church, where Patriarch Pizzabella presided over this year's festive pilgrimage mass, with the participation of Bishop Ibis and Bishop Joseph Jbara, and the heads of the Maronite, Chaldean, Syriac Catholic churches in the kingdom. The Council of Heads of Churches in Jordan called on the faithful to pray on the occasion of the Week of Prayer for the Unity of Christians next Tuesday at the Church of the Virgin of Nazareth Latin in Swafiya Amman. The title of the year's prayer, Learn Charity and Seek Justice, came to help us meditate on the Word of God that always pushes us to renew it in love and strive for justice. This statement added, In this brotherly spirit, we gather Christians together from all churches to raise prayer with one heart and mind to the Lord Jesus, to bring us together with love and brotherhood and the spirit of openness, to promote the goodness, witness, and love for Christ deserved by His death and resurrection. The Supreme Presidential Committee for Church Affairs in Jerusalem said that the racist attack committed by extremist settlers on the walls of the Armenian Patriarchate in the Holy City by writing phrases calling for revenge against Arabs, Armenians and Christians and for the desecration of Islamic and Christian sanctities in Jerusalem and the destruction of graves is an inevitable result of hate speech and hateful incitement and threatens to turn the conflict into a religious conflict that will blow up to the entire region and no one will be spread from its consequences. The committee called on the churches of the world and all believers to reject and condemn those crimes that affect the sanctities of Muslim and Christians, their cemeteries, their lands and their properties stressing the need to take a firm stance in the face of those who want to drag the region into the hateful square of fantasism. In a spiritual atmosphere mixed with joy and faith, His Beatitude Patriarch Pier Battista Pizzabella, chaired the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, presided over the festive mass held at the Church of the Good Shepherd in Amman on the occasion of granting of priestly ordination to the evangelical deacon Michael Adib from the parish of the Immaculate Conception in the fort and Yezen Badr from the parish of Mar Elias in Wahadne. A number of patriarchs, bishops, priests, deacons, nuns, and a large group of believers participated in the Mass. In his homily, Patriarch Pizzabella recommended deacons to show love and humility in the priesthood process and that the priest's life to be devoted to serving the people and not to himself. In the same context, Brother Grace Khalifa was ordained an evangelical deacon in the name of St. Ignatius during the festive Mass presided over by His Excellency Bishop Christopher Satallah, Greek Orthodox Bishop of Jordan at the Cathedral of the Annunciation in Abdali. His Excellency was assisted in his service by a number of priests and deacons in the presence of the deacon's family and a group of believers. In the homily of the Mass, Bishop Christophorus addressed the new deacon saying, The priestly ministry is very great and the deaconess is also an important stage. I invite you to learn obedience, love and trust in Christ Jesus, without whom we are nothing. After the celebration, everyone went to the church hall to congratulate Deacon Ignatius. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news and those were the headlines. Pope Francis calls on the Pontifical Institute to strengthen communion with the church. His Majesty the King in Forhays strict measures against anyone spreading hatred. Catholic churches in Jordan and Palestine mark the 23rd annual pilgrimage to the baptism site. 
The Supreme Committee for Church Affairs condemns racist slurs on the walls of the Armenian Patriarchate in Jerusalem. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.